worldwide news, the one and only you can rely on. Hello, a very good morning to all the viewers on a shiny day where it's 60 degrees. I'm, Cher I'm Cherry. And I'm our co-partner, Kewal Shah. Welcome everybody. To today we got a big breaking news in Britain. Such a serious national disaster could have occurred in Britain. It's not possible, but it has occurred. And who would have guessed it would occur on the British British Empire, but someone called it, some were never sent. Although imaginably, it was predicted after September 3rd, 1939. For a flashback, let's go to our special at Michael. Hello and good morning. Or should I say, dark morning. Really, I'm like a damsel in distress. With all this terror going on, I really do not know where we're headed. All this happened due to the Prime Minister's decision to make a declaration of war in 1939. Let's watch a quick review. Germany's Luftwaffe conducted thousands of bombing runs on civilians and military places in London. Civilian targets across the United Kingdom were bomb blasted. But so the Britain, with the only Britain that is one stash, united with us and were preparing for an invasion of British British code that we now know as Operation Sea Lion. Yeah, following on the tragic bombings, it seems like Hitler has made up his mind to gobble up Great Britain and now take their revenge for not supporting them and aiding the Polish citizens. At first, they bombed only British and industrial targets. It was fine by then that our military can at least go there. But after Royal Air Force hit Berlin with a military strikes in September, Germans are now starting to bomb civilian uh, massive super centers in Britain. And from last night, some 700 British civilians are dead and killed last night. And many still continue to be unfounded and not heard of. Nobody knows what's going to come in future. Thousands of pilots and air crews engaged in the battle in the skies about Britain, Germany, and the England Channel, each side losing men and planes in vast amounts. What sad day it has been for the Western Hemisphere today. With some footage captured by our, by our cameras last night, luckily, let's go to Michael and let's see what his opinion is on this serial disaster. Michael, what do you think about all this? You know, honestly, Cable, I got no words for it. It's like, it's like Hitler is cutting up people, like he chop up onions for curry. I mean, on a serious note, this is completely ravenous and inhumane on Germany's part. To get a better idea, Let's watch what actually happened. It was a dark, quiet, foggy night in London when suddenly a German bomber came flying and the next thing...
better take some steps to prevent this and stop him from Nazis and Hitler. Let's say what Prime Minister Winston Churchill thinks about the attacks and his view on this tragic war. But hold on, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with a word from our sponsors with a special edition called Prime Time, Prime Talk with the Prime Minister. Keep watching WWN, the one and only you can rely on. Welcome back to Worldwide News, the one you can rely on. Today we have a special guest, Prime Minister Mr. Wilson Churchill, with us today in our studio to talk about war, Hitler, and uh, the attacks last night, we devastated us. Hello, Mr. Prime Minister. Hello. Um, regarding the war, Mr. Prime Minister, how do you feel about it? Well, that's a very particular question. Um, of course, I feel sad and tragic for the German people and the loss of lives that have been going on, the destruction of the cities, but, you know, I just pray that they all rest in peace. We all feel the same, Mr. Prime Minister. What would you describe this bombing as? What is going on in the battle right now? Well, uh, currently we're having the Battle of Britain. Well, it's a struggle between the German forces and British forces where, uh, you know, raged over Britain yesterday night. And it was a result of the Germans trying to gain land and great, uh, gain air superiority over the southern Britain and the English Channel by destroying the British forces and the aircraft industry. Uh, Hitler saw victory in a battle as a prelude to invasion of Britain. This code name was the Operation Sea Lion. I know it has been really tragic the last couple of days in here. Um, I would like to um, know, have you taken any steps um, to prevent this in future and defeat the Nazi from going on here? Yeah, certainly. Our technical team has identified weaknesses with the German Junker fighter bombers. Mm -hmm. And it, it, furthermore, our new radar and guidance technique will allow us to encrypt uh, German messages through interior lines. Well, I really hope this radar technique really works for us because yeah. it's really useful and we can defeat those Hitler and Nazis from destroying English people. This means that we can send British planes to attack the German planes when they're still in mid-air before they will attack us, right? Yeah, that's a great idea, sir. Hope this all works out for us and victory will be ours in no time. I would like to thank the viewers for watching and I would like to thank the Prime Minister for his time here. By, uh, when you're going, would you like to tell anything to our viewers up there? Yeah, of course, and be safe and alert to everything that's going around. Uh, in this time of crisis, buy war, buy war bonds. Remember that Hitler is our enemy, and to stay calm and carry on. And we will finish him. pictures and attack of Nazis power. Good night and have a good day.